This is my hometown, Waukesha. Somebody told me the name is a corruption of the Potawatomi word for fox, but people here still argue about that. Waukesha's population, 71,000. Location, 15 miles west of Milwaukee. The Fox River runs through the heart of downtown, but that's not the water that Waukesha was first known for. Back in the late 1800s, this town was called the Saratoga of the West. People came here from all over to drink the clear, pure water from dozens of mineral springs. They thought it could cure you of all sorts of ills. Even Mary Todd Lincoln came here, a melancholy figure, the papers said. Eventually, the resorts and the mud baths and the mineral springs fell out of fashion. Grittier industries moved to town. By the 1960s, lots of people were moving here, out to the boondocks where they could build houses with big backyards and two-car garages and live the suburban life. During the 70s, when I was growing up here, Waukesha was one of the fastest-growing cities in Wisconsin. The 80s, more subdivisions, like the one my parents moved to that used to be farmland. Every time I went back home, more schools, more strip malls. By the 90s, the town once known for good water had a bad water reputation. All that water demand drew down groundwater levels in the deep aquifer beneath the city. And the lower down the city had to pump to get drinking water, the worse the water quality. Waukesha is now looking to get its drinking supply from Lake Michigan. It'd buy the water from this Milwaukee suburb, and then return it to the lake via this river. But first, Waukesha needs to get the approval of all eight Great Lakes states. Yep, even Governor Andrew Cuomo in faraway Albany gets to weigh in on Waukesha's bid. And if it's rejected, my hometown will have to figure out a more local solution and learn to live within its water supply.